Hi everybody, it's teacher Denise and we have a special holiday coming up. So pretty soon we're going to have a holiday called Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is a time when we gather with the people that we love and we eat a big meal together and typically in my family we eat a turkey meal. So we don't really cook a turkey most other times of year, but for Thanksgiving, when we eat a meal with our family, we make a big turkey. So I have a story today about a turkey. And um, this turkey is also going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not sure they're gonna eat a turkey at their Thanksgiving table, but they are going to travel over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house. And there's actually a song, it's a Thanksgiving song, that goes over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. And I have a video that I'll share with you guys so that you can hear the song being sung, but those are the words that go with this story, Over the River, A Turkey's Tale, by Derek Anderson. So let's read and find out what happens with this turkey when he goes to visit his grandmother's house for Thanksgiving. Starts off with some uh, music in case we wanted to sing the song over the river. And here's our title page with, this is called a cornucopia. Everybody say cornucopia. Yeah. So it's like a horn shaped basket that you keep all your fruits and vegetables in. Sometimes people call it a horn of plenty. All right, so here is the turkey family. Looks like we have a daddy and a mommy turkey and then a little kid turkey. And they're all headed out to visit their loved ones. It says, over the river and through the woods. Look at him. I think he's not going over the river, but um, in the river. <laughs> Looks like mama turkey might not be so happy about that. To grandmother's house we go. So there they are, headed through the woods on their path. And I do see up in this corner here, I see a little kid and his dog. I wonder what role they're gonna play. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh. So they went to visit their friend the horse on their way to grandmother's house. Through white and drifted snow, so it looks like where the turkey lives, there is a lot of snow. And um, where we live here, there's usually not snow around Thanksgiving time. But where the turkey lives, there is some snow. And it looks like the horse is headed up the hill with a sled. Over the river and through the woods. Ah, I see these characters. I saw them in the corner of another page. But now here they are, and it looks like this boy in hunting gear and his dog right here. And his signs make me think that he wants to get a turkey, cook that turkey, and give the bones to the dog for a treat. Ooh, these people don't look like they're very nice. And I'm not sure that um, they're gonna be good news for the turkeys if they wanna catch and cook a turkey. Oh, how the wind does blow. Mmm, here are the turkeys coming past the boys, uh, the boy and his dog. And look, they look kind of alarmed. I can see this, the kid turkey has his mouth open and his eyes are really wide. Looks like they're running. <gasps> it stings the toes and bites the nose. Here they come, the boy, over here, the boy and his dog chasing the turkey family. They want to catch a turkey, but the turkeys do not want to be caught. As over the ground we go, ah, uh, they head into a barn. I see a scarecrow. Right over here is a scarecrow. And the turkey family heads into the barn. Over the river and through the woods. Ah, the turkey family. They stripped the scarecrow of his clothes right here. And uh, the boy and his dog are chasing after them. And here they are inside the barn putting on the scarecrow's clothes. They're going to pretend to be the scarecrow so that the boy and his dog can't find them. To have a first rate play. So the boy and his dog are like, where did the turkeys go? 
We know where the turkeys are. They're hiding in the scarecrow outfit. Oh, but now the words say, oh, hear the bell ring. Mm. And here is grandmother and grandfather ringing the bell to say that Thanksgiving dinner is ready. And it looks like grandmother has a pie in her hands. Probably a pumpkin pie. Ting-a-ling-ling. -ling. Oh, getting the turkey's attention. But oh no, the turkeys were hiding in the scarecrow costume. And Mr. Turkey popped his head out and looked. This is the dog. The dog's big legs are there. The dog knows where the turkeys are now. Hurrah for Thanksgiving Day. There they go. The turkey family rushing off to Grandma and Grandpa's house while the dog chases after them. Oh, and I see the horse coming down the, uh, the hill on his sleigh. Over the river and through the woods. Here we are on a face-off. There's the big dog trying to catch the turkeys, the turkey family facing the dog, and here comes the horse on his sled. Trot fast, my dapple gray. Oh, here it is. The horse comes down on his sled, boom, into where the turkeys and the dog have gathered. They're not paying attention to each other now. They're paying attention to the horse coming down the hill. Spring over the ground like a hunting hound. I can tell what happened here. Can you guys? It looks like the horse crashed into all the turkeys. And I see everything flying. We've got the horse up here and his horseshoes are flying there. And there's a pie over here and the dog here. And one of the turkeys stuck in the hat and part of another turkey. Oh, and I see the doll that the kid turkey was carrying. <gasps> what a mess. And look at grandmother turkey. Can you see her face? She looks so angry. Why do you think she's so angry? She's pointing at that pie. She's pointing at the pie right here and yelling at the dog over here. And the dog looks like he feels bad. It looks like he feels bad for messing up the pie that Grandmother Turkey made. For this is Thanksgiving Day. Oh, this is a very different scene. Here they are inside the house with their Thanksgiving meal set up. And I see the turkey family. I see the horse over here, but I also see the dog. It looks like the turkey family invited the dog to join them for their Thanksgiving meal. And then look over here, I see the boy who was trying to hunt the turkeys. He's looking for his dog. Hmm. And I see that cornucopia, the horn of plenty filled with fruits and vegetables at their Thanksgiving table. Ha, and here they are after the Thanksgiving meal. All of them hanging out together. It looks like um, the horse and two of the turkeys are playing cards at the table and the kid turkey is reading a story and the grandfather turkey is reading the news. Oh, while someone else naps on the couch and the dog is still there. And you know what? Um, when I gather for Thanksgiving with my family, our, our uh, Thanksgiving looks kind of like that. Our table has a lot of these same things on it. Cranberry sauce like this. I think that this might be some mashed potatoes on the table. We usually have some turkey and some dressing and some gravy and then at dessert we'll have a pumpkin pie. Sometimes my family has pecan pie. And then after the meal everyone hangs out together resting and playing and enjoying being together. That was Over the River A Turkey's Tale by Derek Anderson and it had lots and lots of Thanksgiving uh, traditions 
that we saw the turkey family engaging in. And I told you about some of my family traditions for Thanksgiving. I wonder if your family celebrates Thanksgiving, what do you do? And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, when are some times that you gather with your family and you have a big meal together? And what do you do in those times also? All right, I'm excited to hear from you guys. Um, send me some messages. You can send me emails or videos, or you can talk to me during circle time. All right, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.